What's up everybody, it's your boy Bean here. For breakfast, I had a breakfast sandwich. For lunch, I didn't really have anything. And for dinner, I had some pot stickers, like some frozen pot stickers, um, and some quinoa salad and a banana. Yeah, um, I'm just hanging out today. I woke up at five, more like four, 54 about. Um, and, you know, I left for work. I drove a car for a second time today, which is cool. Um, you know, not, nothing, it was so normal. Um, we went to the parking lot again, and I was a lot more um, conservative in my pedal usage. Uh, it was it was cool. It, it was uh, quite a bit easier. Um, yeah, my mom wants me to wear my foam runners to work and just, like, bring my shoes. Um, and the reason why is because just so that I can feel the pedals better, because I, if you don't know, um, to work and also just everywhere, I wear these big giant uh, steel toe leather boots. And my reasoning is that I spent a lot of money on them. I, I, we require steel toe boots for work, and I was like, well, I might as well get the best steel toe boots. So I got the best steel toe boots, and they were like, uh, after tax, uh, after the uh, insole, I believe they're around $400. So I was thinking like, oh, well, I spent so much money on these shoes, it wouldn't make sense to not wear them all the time. Uh, so that's all I do, that's all I wear. Uh, sometimes when I'm getting the mail, I do wear my Easy Foam Runners. Um, and when I got uh, plasma, when, when I donated plasma, sometimes I would wear my Jordan 1 mids. Uh, but that's just because it's easier to tie and take off the Jordan 1 mids uh, to <laughs> for them to do my uh, height and, and weight uh, than it is to take off my boots because I triple tie them because I like to put paracord on the uh, shoelaces and paracord is a little slippery so yeah anyway so I, I, I just spent so much money on these boots I might as well wear them all the time and I do and it's they're great shoes um, but you know uh, uh, you know in the in the scenario of driving a car they're a little weird you can't really feel the pedals too bad, and everything sort of is, uh, you, you feel high up, you know, it's weird. Um, and the boots make me a couple inches taller, which is nice, but anyway. Um, and also, I feel like, since if I'm going to be wearing these boots all the time, I should learn how to drive a car in these boots. But my mom wants me to have more control over the pedals, which is fair. Um, but if I'm going to be driving in these boots at some point, eventually, you know, it, it, would, it would just make sense to drive in them. Um... Anyway, uh, yeah, so tomorrow's my birthday, which is cool. I'm working tomorrow, and I'm just gonna have a very, very normal day tomorrow. Um, nothing's really happening to- well, kid day's happening tomorrow is the thing, and it's uh, a thing where everybody brings their kids into work, and we have activities and stuff. Um, they're gonna come into the lab where I work, and they're gonna look at some stuff and, and things, you know, uh, and, you know, um, so I need to help my mom with that because she organizes that stuff. Uh, but also, um, also I do just kind of want to work that day because I need money. Um, I have a pretty good, like I have a lot of, uh, like uh, I don't want to say I have a lot of savings because that could imply these gigantic numbers, right? I have a very reasonable amount of savings, right? And uh, you know, it's cool, but I, I, I want to have enough money to where if I suddenly have to move out, um, I, I can like, I can like, it, it would, it would be fine and I wouldn't get into debt, you know? Um, so, and that's just like my worst case scenario, like a weird thing that would happen where I would need a lot of money all of a sudden. Um, so I'm just trying to work as much as possible. So then I don't like no emergency can, can ever get me into debt, which is ter I don't want to get into consumer debt, like some sort of degenerate, um, freak, uh, AKA the average American, because the average American has what? Like $50,000 of consumer debt? I don't think that's true. It's gotta be like 40,000. That's a that's a chat GPT question. Let's see. You know, I could look it up, but I'd much rather um, ask a chat bot that can just tell me lies. Um, I'm gonna say credit card debt because that's the one that really matters. Okay, that's not bad. Uh, the average credit card debt per American household is around seven thousand to eight thousand um, dollars. What about debt broadly? 
uh, okay, the average American household debt is around $100,000, which is crazy. But that includes mortgages and student loans and auto loans for crazy people who's, who get a payment plan for a car um, and, and credit card debt, right? So um, that's interesting. Anyway, uh, what, what was I saying? Um, oh no, oh no, I lost my train of thought. Um, oh yeah, so, so I, I, I just wanna work a lot so then I have a lot of money so then I can just like do whatever and not have too many worries about anything. I just don't want to have too much financial stress, you know, um, and I don't want to. I don't want to be one of those people you see on Instagram. All those mutual aid, like GoFundMe's that people put on their Instagram. I don't want to be one of those people on the GoFundMe. You know what I mean? Uh, so, um, anyway, yeah. So I'm, I'm working tomorrow, and it doesn't even matter because we're celebrating my birthday on the 24th. Uh, it's not as if we're not going to celebrate my birthday. It's just we're not going to celebrate my birthday on my birthday, uh, which is very common. And I think it's a little freaky if you really care about the specifics of your birthday. I think you're kind of a freak. Uh, no offense, but you know, I think I think anybody's birthday at any age is a reason to celebrate, but don't be weird about it. And I'm not being weird about it because I'm okay with it being on the 24th. We're gonna eat a big burger and it's gonna be awesome. Well, I'm gonna eat a big burger and the rest of my family's gonna eat a big burger, but I think it's funny to just say, we're gonna eat a big burger, <laughs> to, which implies you know, some sort of gigantic burger that um, you cut off into slices and you eat like a cake. Um, which I think would be pretty um, reasonable for, you know, the birthday demographic, <laughs> considering, uh, you know, you typically eat foods that you slice and, and give to people, such as cake on a birthday, or pie, right? Um, for those of you into pie and not cake. Um, yeah, so I, I worked, uh, I only worked for like five or six hours today instead of the normal eight that I normally do because my mom has to go out and like buy things for the thing tomorrow. So, uh, so she dropped me off at home and I exercised. I was able to exercise quite a bit, um, which I'm happy about. Typically when I get home, I don't have my mover in clothes, so I just walk a mile on the treadmill. Um, but uh, today I was able to walk four miles and I burned 622 calories, uh, which is incredible because overall I burned 1,232 calories um, and I've walked a little over 20,000 steps today, which is just wonderful. Um, you know, at work today, I primarily did painting. My face is getting a little red, which is scary because when my face got really red, I started to look like an old man. I'm allergic to latex and I work with acrylic paint and I'm having an allergic reaction to the acrylic paint. Um, it's fine, it's not that big of a deal, it's just smelling it and being around it. If I'm painting all day, it makes my face all red, which sucks. Um, and my eczema uh, extremes it. It extremes it. Um, yes, I came home, I walked four miles on the treadmill. Uh, something terrible happened, uh, but I'm not gonna talk about it. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Um, I have to do laundry now. Let's Oh, I almost just tipped that over. Look, I have my jeans right here. See? I have my jeans and some shirts. I like to air dry my shirts because they're nice, like, hemp, hemp cotton blend, like, like $40, like, Patagonia t-shirts. Um, and they say to air dry them, and I want them to last as long as possible. Uh, so I'm air drying them. They're pocket tees, though. I love me a good pocket tee, but... Don't, don't hit me with that stupid oversized t-shirt. I, you know, I'm not trying to look like some Yeezy Gap Balenciaga model, okay? I, I'm not trying to have a tiny little, I'm not trying to look like Demna, okay? I'm not trying to have a tiny little hoodie and like a gigantic shirt that goes over my pants like a freak, okay? Uh, but I am trying to wear my salvage denim and I'm, I'm trying to wear a little Patagonia. <laughs> um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I look so weird. I look so young and weird. My hair is too long. When I when I have long hair, I look like a little child. Um, and it's interesting because I look at my face and I, I don't know, I, 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 feel, I feel like in this video, it seems like I'm, I'm high or something, but I'm, I'm just in a weird mood. I'm just in a weird mood. Uh, I'm rather tired because I burned a lot of calories on the treadmill uh, and I, I'm feeling weird. But anyway, um, yeah, I look at my face in the screen, like on my viewfinder. Um, and it's really weird because I think about how I looked in like 2017 and 2018 and I look the same. 
I look the same, which makes sense because I'm the same person, but um, it's just weird because when I have short hair, I look like way different. And a lot of the time when I look at old photos of myself from like five years ago, I can I can barely recognize myself, right? Because I look so different, I lost so much weight. But it's weird because I'm looking at myself now and I look very similar. And it's, it's really strange. That's, <laughs> that's really weird, okay? Okay, bye. That's really freaky.